Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the quite beautiful Cape Club of Palm City, where only a few days ago, myself and Grant Horvat took on this course in a scramble and managed to shoot nine under. Now I think it is possible to have a 59 around this venue, which was a host of US Open qualifying. It is tough, but if you drive it well, it is fair. And I thought who better to get on the channel, one of the best drivers of the golf ball I have ever seen. It is of course, Mr. Micah Morris. <laughs> it's good to right. see you again, it's good to be back. Today we are going for 59, nine unders to score speed. You've not played here before? No, first time. So you're gonna have to kind of lead me around. Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah. I will tell you where to hit it. Okay. You hit it though. Okay, I'll try. Dream team. I do really wanna beat Grant though. Yeah, I mean, that would be good. And we had a chance at 59, we just stalled near the end. Mm. Started out good, just couldn't sustain it. <laughs> right, the first hole is 300 and, I think it's about 350. 337. Um, so with a scramble, very simple. We both tee off, we pick the best tee shot, we both hit from there, we pick the best result, we both play from there until we finish the hole. Bogies are not our friend today. So, both go driver? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. I mean, looks like we kind of just want to curl it or as the hole, kind of go as the crow flies here. Yeah, so you see the dark tree just to the right of the flag? Yeah. That's your line. Finish okay. it on that, you're good. Great shot. That might be in the trees. Nah, you're okay there. That's absolutely fine. Might be in the semi, but <clears throat> that kind of, the trees you can see there, mm -hmm. that's kind of all pretty much at the same distance. So oh, okay. You're okay. We are sweating like pigs out there. It's so hot, isn't it? Wow. But it's actually really ironic because pigs don't sweat. Ah, so whoever said that was lying? Yeah, they, they were something. I I, see. I'm not sure what oh. they were, but they were something. Yeah, we've had a few sweating like somethings and allergies this trip so far. <laughs> Only half of them have made it onto the videos. Right, <laughs> pretty much straight at the flag here. Yeah, that's a lost ball straight away. Brand new TP5X, gone. I absolutely hate this tee shot. <laughs> <laughs> last That's time, okay. I hit the fairway last time, and it was because I hit a hybrid, and I, I should have just, I should have just stopped. That was a brand new ball. That was literally fresh out of the pack. You know what I hate losing more than strokes? <sighs> Golf balls. It stings, doesn't it? It's the worst. I'm Are you gonna a, be okay? I'm not in a good place. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the buggy cam. Yes, the uh, best camera on YouTube. I think it's going to be the same. I think it'll be absolutely fine, he says. With absolute confidence. Um... <laughs> wow. Hey, it's actually, I would rather be in this than the rough. <laughs> to be 100% honest. Okay, that's, um, well, we'll wait till the guys get here. That is as close to being in the trees as it's possible to be. Hey Karen, uh, this is called Coquina, apparently, this compacted shell, this compacted path of death. And that is what we're on. Uh, we've literally just avoided going into the bushes. You drove that like 320 into the wind. I mean, can't argue with that. What do you, do? I think I might, I'm gonna go 54. Oh, you're gonna go a little bit lower? Yeah, what are you thinking? Now, I'm gonna go 60 just because that's the one I've most dinked up anyway, so yeah. at this point. I mean, I've had this wedge for, must be two months now. So it's probably time for a new one. Hmm. You want me to go or you want to go? Oh, no, please. Yeah, no. All right. I'm going to kind of play this like a bunker shot. You got to be real confident with it, though. Not only that, cocaine is absolutely flying up. Coquina. 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 Can we call it Coke for short? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Never hit off a fine bed of Coke like this. Yeah, You'll this definitely is... see the powder fly up after you've struck this on it. Oh, it's short. By a lot. All right, we need to putt on the first hole. <laughs> you say we can't chip it? <laughs> <laughs> I should have stuck with my 54. What did you go for? I, I I switched to a 58 for some stupid unknown reason. You see what you mean? It's not quite as compacted as a normal path, is it? No, it's it's like a hard bunker. Hmm. I'm gonna try and nip it though. I feel quite confident with it. Okay. So I'm gonna go 60. Just play like a normal pitch. Be aggressive. Hole out. Spin. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That's that's really nice. 
I mean, I don't have much experience with coke, but I just felt that was the right way forward. <laughs> you just cut straight to the point. <laughs> a little bit left to right, down the slope. Oh, I've been pointing very well, so. Well, mind you, you've been pointing very well. Yeah, good line, just needed a bit more pace. Way through it. Oh, just smashed it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna go short. Just smashed it. All okay, right. you know what? Solid par to begin with. So score goals, basically 13 under par, is gonna be 59. We've got the score with Grant to beat, which is nine under, so we've got to shoot 10. What's the, what's the minimum you think we should get? Minimum? Yeah. Oh, the minimum, I don't want it to be less than eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that would be tragic. Well, I think you've been on this coat too much. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second hole, we are even after that first hole. And we have something very tight. If, you, if you've not seen the previous videos from here, this course is just super tight. Like if you're offline, you will lose a ball and you'll get eaten by an alligator. So we have to hit fairways. Hit fairways, we have a chance. I'm gonna try to start this at the pin and finish it on that second bunker. I hope that's good. No, I might. I think that's fine. Oh, that was literally straight out of the middle. That was beautiful. If you do that all day, I'll start going second. Because I can just, I can unleash. Alright, Peter, sa save us here. Can't go two holes and not make a birdie. I mean, we can't realistically, but. I thought you had it! Oh. Yeah, that's another par. Um, that's a good thought, though. We're just, yeah, we're gearing up for what is to come. And it's gonna, it's gonna get really good, I, I feel it. Right. We have a par five and boy oh boy do we have an eagle opportunity, especially with Micah's shot shape here, just to draw a little bit to the left. Your line here, mate, the bunker in the background with a tiny draw. Okay. However, it will leave like a, literally just a six iron in if you smash it nicely, maybe a seven. So right at that bunker? Right at that bunker, yeah. I really need to stop eating before we play. Probably start it just right of it and hopefully it finishes on it. That's kind of my goal here. Oh. Keep hook, 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 a little bit more. It's okay. We're really? in play. You think? Yeah, it's just down by the car path. It, oh, if it's it? got a good lie, the actual angle in from there is really good. <sighs> Went back to the draw. You know what? I think I should just be Monty. I think you'd be Monty I today. think I'd be Monty. I think you should be Monty today and hit your cut and then let me, I think I should start going second on the tee shots. All right, so think I should just like find fairways and then. Yeah, but your cut still goes plenty far enough and then if yeah, I hit it's... one good. I just don't know if I'm a big enough man to sacrifice oh. like 15 yards off my drives, 20 yards off my drives. Well, then I'll start hitting cuts. No, 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 like you, you're great. Like you do you. This is more of an internal struggle that's going on right now. Yeah, we'll talk about that in the cart. <laughs> yeah, 73. Oh, man. All right, I'm now using a TaylorMade 3. Uh, we've got an interesting shot here. here. Yeah. 
So we've got a line to the pin that our starting trajectory just needs to be a little bit lower, like 170. Just a draw underneath that limb. Yeah. And with the back pin, I think it's actually, we kind of got lucky. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of room to work with. There is, um, like after the green, uh, there's quite a big slope down to the water. So if it does pop over, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Okay. I'm gonna kind of go low draw, but I'm gonna start it a bit right because I think I can get a little more out of it. Like that. A time. Nine. Nine, obviously. <sighs> you idiot thing. Oh, I pushed it way out there. Just over that bunker. That's actually not the worst place to be. But I want to give us a chance at an eagle. We're moving kind of at a snail's pace right now, Peter. We gotta it pick was, it up. We just ate that. I don't know why we ate that burger. It's a massive meal and then we come out here and <sighs> Hey, we'll get it we'll get it we'll pick up the pace. Oh <laughs> uh, right, I'm gonna go seven just so I can keep it lower so I don't have to start it too far right. So I'm gonna start this edge of the green just left of that bunker in the middle. And then just draw it around. Cause I can draw it now. I believe in you. Thank you. Could be good. Be good. Yes. Ah, oh, that could have been the kickstart we needed. Wow. That was a fabulous golf shot. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but that might be the best shot you've ever seen. Pretty you should, much, you should just think. blow your trumpet for a little well, bit. Well, that was, you know what? I'm going to get the whole brass band out on that one. Yeah. Uh, that was. Just Downwind, the wind was going left. You had spin on it, and I, it looks like a tap in from here. You know what? This could make up for some lost territory that we've had. After that shot, guys, smash that light one. See, this is just proof yet again that pin high will always be online and short them on. Like, always. Look at this. I mean, it's a great shot. I'm still very happy with it, but we've got like that 20 foot range. Look at your touch today. That 20 foot range to. Hopefully, you get an eagle. But you know what? We do one. Yeah, Up we hill. are. A little bit right to left. We need it in a big way. Why don't you just go ahead and make this and we can uh, get to two under and kind of be back on pace here. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Try to keep an eye on this and get my hammer hands out of here. Turn, turn, turn. Oh. Again, These probably line-wise, all right, just pace. These greens are fast. Mm, rolling well. They seem like they're going to be slower because they got a little sand on them and they're just not. Oh. Two quality putts. Hey, we're one under through three holes. If we do that. <laughs> one under through three. Listen, if we do that, on that average, we'll be six under, which is, you know, not acceptable. <laughs> Not acceptable. Yeah, okay, so we've, we've got that out of the way. We can't do that. At least we broke the ice with the birdie. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. You know what? What a great birdie it was. Yeah. If that's what the rest of the round's like with this shot making masterclass, then I think we're in for a real treat. A real treat. Ooh. Okay, I think it's time to accept my lineage, Colin Montgomery. Look at that. With the, the hip swaying and everything. <laughs> the hip swing. Okay. You should be doing that every time. Yeah, Peter. I know. <laughs> it, it's <sighs> just nice. Kind of like... It, it's, it's definitely an ego thing. Yeah. Because, like, one thing I have going for me is I can hit it a long way. Am I willing to sacrifice it just to hit more fairways? I think that on the next one you're gonna I'm gonna get you to aim right and rip it. Okay. Well now that I know he's safe, I'm gonna aim kind of right at the pin. I think that's kind of just to try to push it up farther. Because we're in the fairway, we probably have 110 yards in, but ideally we have a little less. Alright? Yeah, absolutely. You're free, mate. I'm a free man now. <laughs> I hope the Pacific's as blue as it has been in my dreams. One. Oh, we weren't going to say anything. We're very mature on this channel, actually. Yeah. I think you're fine. 
Wow. Now that is unreal. See you there. See, now Colin can't do that. That's massive. That's absolutely gigantic. Brilliant drive. I think we might have found our order for tee shots. So just let me kind of smooth one out there. <laughs> no, you're going to start aiming right and ripping it. All right, let's keep that routine. You go first. Okay. 63. 63 yards. These are the ones we have to take advantage of. We got to get this ball close, preferably a tap in. Pete is the, sh he, the shallow wedge swing. Mm. What was that? That's just nice. <laughs> I love a shallow divot. It's just something, something about it. What was that noise? Can we clip that noise, please? Mm. Mm. Oh my God, I, I really want, like next time someone sends me a message, I'm gonna have that as my, uh, my message <laughs> alert time. Right, 60, <laughs> it's just a 60 degree. Nip it off the top. Let's be aggressive. Some drive, but. Oh, this might actually go in. Oh. It landed right next to it. Oh, it's right over it. Oh. Oh, Peter. I think we found our routine. I think we found our order now. I'm just, I think we found it, man. I'm just gonna just smooth it. I'm just gonna cover everything in a fine coating of butter. Of Monty. Yeah, just like velvet everything. And you just be the man you're born to be, the powerhouse. Oh, that'd be good. Excellent shot. That's closer. I, I think, think so. Grace, yeah. look, look, look at us, ham and egg -ing. Ham and egg -ing. Ham and egg -ing. Ham and egg -ing. The definition of that is two dudes playing golf and helping each other out. <laughs> two dudes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> oh, man. Just a couple of dudes. Hanging out, dude. <clears throat> Right, we've got to keep our routine. <laughs> four, oh, yeah, four and a half feet, sorry, my routine, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. Four and a half, second birdie of the day to get to two under through four. We need 50% or better birdie average. Yep, great putt. Well, that that one's just center of the cup, too. Yeah, well, putting over here is just mm -hmm. great. Yeah. So much fun. To you see a ball start on line, stay on line, and. Mm -hmm. Dropping the hole, it's, it's pretty nice. Great, so, yeah. Did you just want to complete your own little birdie? Though? I just thought. No, nah, you fun. just thought you did, yeah. You got to pray. You got to. Yeah. Off to the races. Two on the par. Through four. Come on, let's just keep it going. So par four here. It's kind of like a drive just to the right of that bunker. You can see it's an ideal line. I think with my newfound Monty swing, I'm not even sure I can reach it. So I'm just going to peel it off that. That's ah, really cool. I love that trajectory too. Yeah, a little skiddy flight, isn't it? I didn't quite nail that one, but. You're just, you're just driving those hands forward, keeping the, that face open. The advantage of this swing is the setup is quite neutral. I just hinge, drive, yeah. and it'll come out with a little fade. Yeah. Disadvantage, no distance. All right, I'm gonna go right at that bunker on the, the right and hammer it, hammer a draw. You like that? Mate, I love that. Oh, we got a bounce. So big. <laughs> That's so big. That's near the green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes I surprise myself. Mate, that was... Because I'm, I'm not the biggest man in stature. I mean, I'm five foot... Eight and a half, five foot nine in the morning. Um, you know, buck 80. Yeah. But you got speed. Yeah. It's because when you're lower to the ground, your center gravity's lower and everything moves faster. It's contrary to popular belief. You know the old uh, ice water hack for sweating? Um, drink ice water? No. No, okay. 
So whenever your cooler has full of ice, you just you just jam your hands in there for a little while, let them get really, really cold, dry them off. Okay. And then it helps with uh, hand sweating and therefore your gloves are not gonna get as, as bad. You see? It's like the thought of everything over here. Alright. Yeah. I suppose that shoe will go back in there. You gotta get your ball somewhere unless you just wanna leave it for the next person. Yeah, I mean, again, there's only... It's the center of the freeway. Though, yeah, here. but oh, see, this is the thing, so we're in a comp. It's perfect. It's perfect, I'm happy. Yeah. I think you got to start hammering the draw. The next hole we're hammering draws. And spa three. Hammering draws. Spa three. Hammering draws. <laughs> Ooh, interesting little pin position there. Downwind. Is it better trying to get a little bit of release on this, potentially? Fantastic position again. That's actually opened up the pin amazingly well. Mate, you've hit that about like, there's no carry here as well. So well, there's the pitch there. Yeah, we got a, we did get one bounce out of this, but that was pretty far. Fantastic, love it. Uh, gonna, oh, sorry, order, order. Are you just gonna eye it? Oh yeah, yeah, no, this, I think this is more yeah. of a feel kind of shot. It's a feel, it's a feel shot. Are you thinking lob it up or just like a bit short and run it over that bank? I mean, if you got, if you give yourself a nice lie, I think you can kind of go all the way there with mm. it. But it's whatever you feel most comfortable with. Well, I mean, I do feel like this is a, um, I feel I'm finding myself this round. Yeah. I didn't need a gap I can here. tell. I just yeah. needed this round. Yeah, I can tell. I didn't need to go to Bali and see a full moon party. I just needed yeah. it to be right here. In Jupiter, Florida. <laughs> Jupiter, so yeah. All right, just carry it over that ridge. Decided to go to a different planet. That came out weird. With zero spin. Wow. After seeing that, I'm... I, I honestly think... Well, you, you got 58. Yeah. If you go a bit lower, I reckon you can literally land that before the ridge and then roll it over. I, 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 yeah. I would I think that's so. the more, like, higher chance, right? Yeah. Set, set, set. Caught mine clean. That, <laughs> I don't know if that was really. It released good. one foot. What, was that maybe? Do you think though, if that had missed the slope, that might have gone off the green? No, it had so much spin on it. <laughs> yeah, that's the hey, that's, not, that's the Wesley Bryan magic spin touch. Let's not argue. Let's yeah. let's take it. Wow. I feel like it's got to come in the hole about right here. Yeah. I think I've got a line to kind of like skim it past there. I mean, if we do live in a simulation, then in one of those many universes, this does go in. Yep. <sighs> so happens to be the one that we're living in right now, called reality. Yeah. It's just hard. Just whacked it again. Just got to Man. trust the feel yeah. and the roll of it. Well, these these greens are rolling so pure, like they're they're not bouncing at all. Were you just outside left edge? Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah. And I just kind of like hammered it through. Just babied it. I mean, not our best putts, those ones, are they really? Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. You hit a couple decent shots and then you just don't really give it a chance. Second golfers on tour. Just think how good that tour would be. Yeah. Like if the second golfer, imagine, imagine a Rory McIlroy second golfer. How good is that golfer? You should start something called the second golfer tour. Oh yeah, like it, you'd have to have like a minimum what seven hour round every time. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to do quite a limited field. I mean, maybe, maybe this is what Liv can do to just get a few few extra bums on seats. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a sucky par. Yeah. So sixth hole, 144 yards, wind slightly down off the left hand side. I'm going to go in with a little P wedge. Also known as a pitching wedge. Um, you're going in with a P wedge. Yeah, well. pitching wedge. I mean, 144. I feel like that's a great number. We can be aggressive, but we just got to make putts, man. Come on. We do have to make putts, though. We got to give them chances at least. I don't like missing putts. I don't like missing six footers. Be good. Pin high. Slightly short, but safely short. board. It's not too bad though. Mm -hmm. Like that's gonna be putting back up the hill. Yeah again, I'm just playing my part. I'm just gonna dab it up there. 
and then let Give yourself Michael some credit, up. Pete. You are? Give yourself some credit. I don't need to give myself credit because I'm saving it all up for you, buddy. Mm. You feel like that played a little longer? Uh, no, no, bear in mind that's my Monty swing. Okay. It's just, it's just a smooth one, man. All right. One, four, four. You have full permission to laugh at that. That was almost, that was halfway a hosel. <laughs> Our order was working so well. Things are going to plan. <laughs> why, you gotta, why you gotta mess with the plan? <laughs> it was a lot that was, going on in my, yeah, in my you, head. You could see it. You could almost hear the cogs whirring in your brain. Though. Yeah. Just a hot start for the guys. I was getting real tired of looking at that ball anyway. It had some scratches on it. Yeah. I need to get a new one. Oh, 50% hosel. <laughs> a little, little less, a little more. Yours is, yours is closer to 10 height in the book. Yeah, the positive is we are putting straight up the hill there, yeah. so. And I'm just really happy. I mean, we do get to use one with two shots. Yeah. So there's that. But that's it, really. And then we donated a golf ball to the Aqua Foundation. You're welcome. Let's make a bomb here. Okay. This, is, this is not considered a bomb, but for us right now, it, it probably is. Like a little bomb. Yeah. Like a firecracker. Yeah. Just moving to the right so ever so slightly. I think so, yeah. Just as it wanders up the slope. Hold. Come on. Go. That's not annoying. Ah. Hey, caramba. All right, good par. Thanks. Ah, what a great line. Well, as you can tell, that was a perfect line. Great line. Go, go. I don't know how you leave two in a row short. Mm. We have Sorry. fallen below our 50% average. Yeah, we need, like, the advantage is we have par fives that are eagle, eager able. Eagleable. Eagle eagle e e you get an eagle on. Are we still only two under? Yep. Through six holes? Yep. Ah. Uh, we got we to gotta get a birdie here. Like, we need to get on track. We need to finish this nine five under. Yeah, to be kind of on, on pace to, to win uh, the Peter Finch and Grant duo. That's the thing about golf, though, is, you know. You never know what's going to happen. Sometimes, it's all about momentum. We just got to get the momentum shifted back in our direction. Mm -hmm. What is that? That's a, they cicadas. Like, What's that? Let me talk it. They cicadas. Cicadas? Oh, cicadas, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, knew, I knew it was the A. Cicadas. Yeah, cicadas or, or locust. Locust. Ooh. Locust. We don't like locust. When I was a child, I used to, well, some people might consider that not. I used to tie a little yarn to them. <laughs> then I would hold on to it and they'd fly around. You would fly your locust? Yes, but I would let them go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how they big, how big were these locusts? They are just this big. Oh, wow, big locusts. Yeah. So you used to catch them, tie a bit of string around them and fly them. <laughs> We had such different childhoods. Right. I'm going <laughs> to have to walk my locust down the driveway. <laughs> oh, right. Left edge of that bunker. Just let it bleed a touch. That's so consistent, Peter. I, I really like that. I know it maybe not going as far, but it's really, really nice. It is good. But I, I fully admit, it's good. Could I go like the entire next year as Colin McGonagall? I can do it. I can do this. Do I kind of go on the same line as you or go more right? Uh, no, see the, the bunker on the right? Yeah. Basically, you're going at that. If you're hitting your normal shot. Okay. You do whatever you want, man, mate. You just smack the living crap out of it.
Yeah. Is it? I think that's through the fairway. Hang, hang time on it is just ridiculous. Like, hang time on it is mad. But I think I think that's too far. I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's a bit deceptive. Yeah. Because I think the wind is like a little bit into there, so we'll see. Peter's is perfect. Peter Montgomery. Peter Montgomery. That, that flows pretty nicely. Are you sure you're not related? Uh, no, I've asked him. I actually asked him to adopt me as well. He said no. <laughs> All right, let's get one close. Let's birdie seven, eight, and nine, and we'll be right where we need to be. I mean, we've obviously got a huge chance here on this one. 66. It's a 60 degree. I know the number. I know the shot. Let's be aggressive. This looks amazing. I think that's probably just beyond, maybe. Seven foot. Seven foot. I'm a fan of a seven foot away wedge shot today. A little seven footer? Yeah. Sit. That was good. That was really good. Four, four foot. Four. Come on. Needed that. By the way, I don't know, like, it like, can't be a universal thing, but I have to say, our, our knuckles. They fit together they really nice. They fit. <laughs> yeah. Like, like properly, like, hand in glove. Yeah. Like, this is it, like. Our hands fit like a glove. Just, just like a like, solid impact, yeah. isn't it? Like, I don't think I've ever had knuckles that felt so solid. <laughs> Keeping the order. Right. We got another another shorty here. This thing's gonna have some break in it and it's gonna be fast. It's just dribbler down that hill, isn't it? I really, I really hope Peter makes this because I don't really want to putt it. Is it gonna have much break? Hmm. I mean I'm I'm seeing like probably right here. Uh, the grain is like right here. I'm just not seeing quite as much. You might be right. It might be dead straight. Inside, like just the left edge. Yeah, I'm gonna go inside left. I shoved it. Did you shove it? I shoved it. Yeah, I, I think it's just left edge. I just shoved it. Oh. God. Left edge and fast. That is way too much work for a two-person scramble. Wow, okay. My putter is just, it's like feeling, it's, I'm, I'm starting it a little bit offline. I got to get it back online. I don't, I feel like we're actually playing some decent golf. We're just not doing enough of that. Like you're holding it. Like my, my putting over the last week has been pretty fuego and it's just, it's just been doused a little bit today. I think it's due to the humidity combined with air pressure along with a little sand on the greens and then you got an overcast so it's the shadows are a little bit different and then you have I got a fat chicken sandwich in <laughs> that's I mean listen I, I, you know that's not a great way to prepare is it let's hey, be honest about it I once heard a pro golfer say never blame yourself always blame something else it's true it's never, it's never the golfer's fault. No. Oh, we, all, we all know that. I've got 175. I'm, gonna, I'm kind of thinking it's a little bit into wind, a little bit off the left. I think it's got to be a little more. I think it's a 180 to 185. 180. And now I'm Monty swinging. That's like a fine line. But I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to use my Monty swing where I'm going to try and hold it straight with a tiny draw. Okay. Be oh, yeah. the right club. Wow. If you don't stick to Monty, then we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> God, this might actually be me. I might be forced. I might be forced to unleash Monty. 
on the world for a second time. The second coming. Hallelujah, Colin. We're going seven iron. Yeah. Uh. Ah. Hold it. That's yeah, okay. Just kind of went left straight away, though. Yeah. I was hoping they'd pull back a little bit, but yeah. yours is so good, it didn't really matter. It's okay. We got this. Come on, team. We needed that. Monty has showed up. All right, come on, man. I think we're going to switch up the putting. It's not been great so far. Um, gosh, this has got to go a little left just due to the grain. I trust you. Come on. Knuckle buddies. Wow. We're moving at a nice pace now. Okay. That was, ah, oh, I love making putts. There's like hitting drives is cool, but making putts is the best feeling in the world. It's incredibly satisfying. It's the best feeling in golf. Especially, right. especially somewhere like that. It's like a 15 foot. Uh, yeah. Beautiful pace, bang in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I think that gets us to four under. We're back on track. I think so. For the 50%, we're going for well. more than that. Yeah. Ninth hole is an absolute beast. We have water all the way down the left-hand side. It's about 550 yards. Trees to the right and a very narrow strip of fairway. Now, 24 hours ago, I would have been scared. <laughs> but, now, <laughs> but now, this is a confident man walking to the tee box. We have I mean, Peter. what do you want? What do you want Monty to do? Do you want him to move like here down the left with a fade? Do you want him to be quite straight? I want you to go right down the water line with a fade. Just a cut. Yeah. Okay. I want to see this ball moving back to the right. Okay. See the middle kind of out of bounds post right at the back. Yep. Finish it on that. Settle. Soft. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. That. Now the fairway, oh, sit. Oh, just kicked into the semi. The fairway does camber in a little bit right to left. It's just overdid it. It's all right though, it's dry. I think the wind is pushing that way too. I think so. I mean, with that, so with that, we will have an option of going for the green because it's like straight over. So I think your line is, you got those three out of bounds posts? Yeah. Your line's the middle one. Okay. And just believe. I believe in you. Thank you. It's okay. That might be a windshield. <laughs> I deviated again from the plan. There's a Ford F-150 with a little bit of extra weight in the uh, pickup now. It's okay. I was, I, I, I tried to hit a fade there. I don't know why. That was, that was perfect for your draw. I know. Like back in South Breeze. I know. It's okay. Don't worry about it. That was such a waste. Such a waste of a golf ball and a opportunity. Think about it this way. We, we have the momentum with us. Yeah. We can't let that little blip stop us, okay? Yep. Let's keep pushing. All right, 245 yards. Two shots at it. Lie is interesting. It suits like a little bit. Is this bit of a, par five? Yeah, par five, yeah. Suits a little Monty draw, do you think? Yeah, I think you hit draw. I think I'm gonna hit two iron actually. It's gonna aim at the middle of the tall trees. Yeah. Like the middle of the tall trees. I love it. That's okay. All right. That was a bit, a little bit snatchy at the bottom. That, that wasn't very Colin. Colin never snatches at anything. He grasps it gracefully in his soft hands. I think a two iron here for you is perfect. That beautiful little draw. And we've oh, yeah. got one up there, like that chip there. It's, it's not, not bad. It's not the easiest, but it's okay. Two balls on one hole. You really don't like that five wood, do you? That was like a that was like a perfect five wood, but uh, there's a there's a lot. 
that is that is happening right there. That I mean, that was such a poor struck shot. It doesn't even didn't even matter. <laughs> really showing up here. Well, you can have a hole off. It's okay. What's that? You can have a hole off. It's yeah. Good. <laughs> I got you. I got you for this yeah. shot. <laughs> you look. You look like you're thinking deeply here. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Come on, we're okay. No, I've uh, no, I'm processing how we're gonna go into this back nine. Um, we're gonna go in there with the birdie. Yeah. That's what we're gonna go in. Or the, how about we not chip in for eagle? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Right, I'm gonna play like a semi explosion, just onto that green, dribble it into the hole. Soft. I mean, that's a great shot from that lie. Yeah, I think I caught it just slightly thin. I think I took a little bit of spin off it. On a bit of an upslide though. There is a chance to stop it. Got to land it so precisely though. Yeah. Oh gosh, wow. where are you hitting at? Hey listen, it's Bit of a hiccup that, for me. It's all about that processing, you know, it's just... <laughs> this, <laughs> it's like it's like I, mean, I logged off. Do you know, do you know that moment <laughs> when like there's a, an update comes up on yeah. the laptop and yeah. you accidentally click yes update and you gotta wait like 15 minutes for it to kind of reboot. Yeah. That's that's all this is. Like we're gonna have Mica 11.20, the Sierra operating system coming into life yep. very soon. <laughs> Pretty good flat stick. Can we add more like more and more excessive sound effects every yeah. time that we fist bump throughout this round? That'd be great. It gets it gets better and better. Oh, it just keeps escalating. Hey, Is that five I, under? It, for some reason, I I feel like I'm even par right now as a scramble, but we are five under, which is we're that that's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah, on oh, this well. course in these conditions, it's windy. There's sand on the greens. I mean, if we if we carry on this and we birdie all, is that 14 under we have to be? 14 under if we birdie everything. So that'd be 58. So we can afford- we, 59 is still on the table. We, we can afford to we can afford to par a hole on the back nine. That's giving us way too much leeway. Back nine. Par five start. Par five, five under par. Slowly gaining a sense back on reality. Um, I'm gonna try and hit. It's kind of winds off the left, so I kind of want to use it a little bit. I don't want to fight it, so I'm going to hit a fade just on the left edge of the fairway, just let it bleed. Oh. Peter, Peter, Peter. That's right, pretty good. I think that's an understatement. He didn't even go for that, because no, I was just desperate for it. Little side knuckle, though. Suckle. Right, mate. Now, now it's just a green light. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go. There's a little kind of yellow-looking tree. I'm gonna try to draw it off of that. Perfect. Just left of that bunker. That was pretty good. So big. Is that good? Just so good. That felt good. He's back, ladies. The reboot is over. The reboot is complete. <laughs> yeah, I've come back online. <laughs> yeah, another cracking drive. 166. 166 into this par five, number 10. Wins off the left. I think I'm going to go a little eight iron. A little eight piece. Yeah, no, that's a good club. All right, let me see if I can get my iron play back in the. Back in a groove. We'll see if that rebooted. <laughs> I think that might. I, th I had a look, and that was part of the update. So, 166, but it's into. This Just slightly. Way. All right, we'll see. Oh, wind! Shove it. Ah. Whoa. Stayed up top. I mean, listen, it's par five. Running yeah. two. And the world's just that played a little longer than, or a little bit shorter than I was expecting. A bit shorter. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go one more anyway, seven, just because of the 
Okay. Lack of distance, but I'm going to go. I pretty, love your fade here. Yeah, I'm thinking starting between the flag and your ball. Yeah. Just like drift. Be the right number. But. Oh, yeah. Actually, I, I, not bad, though. No, I, I think that that's. We, we got to take that one. Pit, I thought it was way back there. Yeah. You could, Come look at it. Come look at it. That one is significantly closer, which I still think for some reason we can chip that in, but mm. it's not a long putt. We haven't made any long putts today, though. No. I, I think I think we've got a yeah. better chance there. Let's go. Let's go with our gut. What you got? A little 54? I got 60. 60? Are you gonna putt this or chip it? I think I'll chip it, yeah, yeah. Chipping looks a lot better than a putt, I think. Ah. I want a bit, I want a bit. Grab straight away. Well, that's the birdie, so. Nothing to lose here. <laughs> Not our best effort, at least uh, not getting past the hole. That was nice and aggressive, wasn't it? Uh, it's, it's a birdie. Yeah, it is. It's a birdie. Keeps us ticking along. I should have went with the tomahawk method. You know the tomahawk method? The tomahawk method? Yeah. No, but introduce us to the tomahawk. So that's where you like, you just go into the grain, but you just make sure and strike ball first. Tomahawk method. That's, um, Kiridek. Happy bar method, yeah, yeah, tie yeah. spinner, isn't it? Yeah. The tomahawk method, the tie spinner. The conditions have to be right, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that because he learned that on really grainy, so grainy grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if you lived in Florida, you'd have all this like this whole suite of shots available to you. Right, eleventh hole. Let's keep this trainer chugging. Um, I will be maxed out trying to reach this, but I'm saying that. Monty works well here. Yeah. So I seem to remember though off these tees. Like There's we were a... pretty much pin eye with some bad strikes. I don't think you'll need to go full at this. Really? No, I'm gonna go over this divot. And I'm just gonna let the wind help me. Holy perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So that frees you, mate. It's just a smooth, solid driver. I mean, I know it's not your favorite shot, but... Should I try to hit a little cut? I think so, yeah. I, I think if I tee it down, then it really helps me. I'm, to be, I'm seeing like... With your shot, the way you do, you see like the tall tree behind yeah. those. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting all the way over there. A sling. We're talking, a, this is like a slice. Oh, I can see it. I can see it happening. Because you're going to probably have to have that much fade to get the distance right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll be still my beating heart. I think this is going to be good. Oh my God, go. Go, 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 Oh, it had a straight bounce. Oh, it's kicked left, didn't it? That's two very good shots. That's right where we're looking, though. That's cool. Very low trajectory drives. I love low drives. Oh, there's so much ham and egg going on right now. Yeah. Just ham and egg and all over the place. Yeah, I mean, you did neck it, so we won't make it won't make too big a thing. You record it. So I just outdrove Micah there by Wait, about what were you 20 hitting? yards. Sorry, what? What were you hitting? Um, what was hitting? I was saying uh, a three. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was a three. Tell me that's three. Um, it's no biggie. You know, it's just... Oh, I, I, no need to hit. No, no, no need to attack. Okay. We're, we're all still friends. Right. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, Fantastic drive, thank Peter. You. Thank you. Well, I'll leave you to chip in. I'll show you the line. Again, off this lie, I reckon it would be quite aggressive, but I think it's going to grab a lot in the first bounce. <sighs> what the hell just happened with that bounce? You struck it so perfectly. What? What the hell was that bounce? 
I thought it just, it sounded like it had spin. Uh, I, I, that is the best stroke chip I've done all week. There's no reason for that not to stop quick. It's pretty fair. Nice shot. I have so much to learn about the ways of the Bermuda grass. The perfect alternate shot. Yeah. Um, you're not going to knock this in? Oh, you're going to give me the honors? Yeah. Oh. Now, are you ham or egg? Or which one do you want to be? I'm going to go with egg right now. Egg. Remember. Not a big sausage guy. No, big what, sorry? No, I like meat. I like beef. Beef? Yeah. I mean, we, we can like, be beef and tomato if you want. Something <laughs> like that. Tomato? Tomato. Toma tomato? Beef and onion? Yeah. I mean, what's your beef and... What, what, what would you have with beef normally? Potatoes. I can be potato. <laughs> I'll make a great potato. Okay, beef and potatoes. So potato with the drive, beef with the pitch, get a potato put. Very nice. All right. That's five in a row, Peter. That's what we do, man. Thank you. We're moving right along at a really healthy pace right now, and we got about 25 minutes before um, the sky opens up and pours down rain on us. Well, we spent we spent that long, like talking about the bunker. Yeah. And saying how cool it was, and like, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if we went in there? I whacked it straight over, and he toe hooked in. I was like, okay. So I like you starting it at that bunker. And then just that little Monty Fay. Yeah. Cool. I can do that. I can do that. Sit. Is that in play? That is a long way right. Do you think it's in play? I think that's going to be touch and go. It was pitching around the path. I was so. Why did I hear that so fast then? Oh, my You're pretty, you're my pretty closed off there with your stance. You are, sorry? Yeah, you're a little closed off. A with bit your closed. Stance, yeah. So I probably need to go at that pine tree. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. That with a bit of a draw is beauty. Beauty? Beautiful. I need definitely a reboot. What button did you press to get your reboot, mate? <laughs> Command R. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, well, Control, Control R. Yeah. Control R, okay. My absolute hero. What a perfect drive. Keep drawing. Why did I just hear something? I heard something. That wasn't anywhere near anything, though. Look, it's massive. I think it's long. Yeah, but those... It, it, it was left of the bunker. Yeah. yeah. Is it in play? It must be, because the only thing down there is the next tee, and the next tee is miles away. All right. I mean, I hit that beautifully. So we have a bit of a situation. It hit these palmettos, and it bounced just... I think it's technically in the hazard, but we can't stand on a cart path. I think since there's a scramble, we get to take a little relief, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. You can't drop into a hazard, can you? Right. Because that's not the nearest point of relief. Oh, no. Oh, man. Shall we, uh, we take a shell for a second? The rain is now cleared. It's uh, Thursday. So we're going to pick up where we left off. We've got 130 yards left into this hole. Yeah, I'm going... Uh, I think I'm you going think? actually a 9-iron. I'm going a little low. Kind of run it back there okay. into the wind. Why well, that? We got to we got to make sure we're getting back on track here. Very true. We had a little we had a little uh, intermission there. I held up on your touch. That's okay though. <laughs> I think it's just a wee bit long. I think that's the right play though. Just a little kind of feely one there. Ah, oh, just off the back. Same, uh, same plan here. Nine, nine. That gummit. What a piss poor effort. Hit it, wind. Ah, I like. I mean, it's it's center of the green. Center of the green. I was almost trying to be too easy on that. Yeah. <laughs> we need it in a big way. Oh, they don't see this, do they? Right. Uh, 
That's a contraption. That's All a right. good look. Let's knock you. this in. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so downhill, a little bit right to left. Uh, this would be for what, five birdies in a row? Yeah. Love that. Settle. So it's, it's, uh, Hammered it right through the break. Didn't quite break as much though, either, did it? it not quite. hardly. I mean, I was kind of thinking right around in here, but it might be in between them. In between that, yeah. I was fist pumping before you actually made that because I felt like Get you were going to make it. Get it. <laughs> oh, that's huge. Wow. Massive. Oh. I just felt, you know when you feel like the hand of destiny on your shoulder? Yes. As soon as I stepped up to that and the rain started coming down a bit more heavy, I was like, right. Wow. I am the Lord of Fantastic the putt. That, will, that gets us to rain six. Why is it now so yeah, heavy? Yeah, six under. <laughs> that's absolutely... Gosh. You going Monty here or are you going aim aim right, hit a draw? Uh, I'm gonna go uh, Monty. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go Monty. There's quite there's a bit more room left in the repairs. Alright. Like the fairway kind of ends where the dark tree is there. Mm-hmm. Like that's it's a little bit wider than it looks. So okay. I think if I go right. Monty. So I, we're eight under par. Eight under par, yeah. And I we're thought we were six or seven. Yeah. We're on a we're on a row. I mean, we said six birdies in a row. <laughs> it's gnarly. We're, we're playing some decent golf. Yeah, playing. we're the putters, once the putters heat up, you can do crazy things. Here we go, Monty, in the rain. This is, this is, this is where art started, right here. If you, I mean, Peter. <laughs> that's going a, a very long ways too. It's 300. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not short, short, but it's not long, long. I think you're right edge of the fairway and just smash it. Okay. Is that bunker reachable? Um, if you absolutely clout it. Okay. Like, I don't even think you should, if you reach that bunker, I don't even think you should be angry. You should just be pretty pleased with yourself. <laughs> uh, straight at the pin. Yep. Is it fairway? It's fairway. Yet again. Mate, this has just been some of your drives today. They've been so good, so good to watch. How's it looking? It's about 12 feet and you need to be landing it maybe two, three foot right at the pin on it. Great opportunity here. Um, you may go first? Please, absolutely, right. yeah, yeah. 12 feet, just kind of eye it in there. See if I can hit a little spinner. Oh. Ah, two feet. That looked like it almost pitched in. I know. Wow. I that, think it's a couple feet. That technique that you're using, so it's like a really long backswing, and then it's almost like a decel and a release. That exactly. Makes you feel yeah. it. It's it, like the the. I mean, it's a shot that I've been working on for a really long time, and I've I've only recently brought it to the golf course. It just it honestly allows me to create a lot of spin, because okay. it's it feels like I'm putting on the brakes from the top, and it's just keeping the face open. And maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't try it straight. You should try it because we're really close. Right. Okay. So long backswing, and then just feel like you're putting the brakes on. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more time with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not quite as close as we thought. Uh, which, uh, this one. Is this for, what's this, seven in a row? Wow. It's a very, very good golf. I feel like this is gonna snap. Wow. You weren't felt wrong so either. so good about that. Right at the end, it just slips across. All right, Peter, clutch up for us here. Clutch up. I can do that. Is that mine? Man, I wanted to make that. Come on, Pete.
Oh, that's so painful. I saw, that was a bad putt. I saw yours. I was just torn between, yeah, like hitting that. I knew if I hit it hard, we had a chance to go through the break. So I was just trying to dolly it down in there. It, it's that, just basically. one of those, it's a pace putt. Like the yeah. pace has to be so good. I think we got a little bit cocky and a little bit overconfident after you hit your second shot there. Like, <laughs> yeah, we should have, we should have, I thought it was two feet. Yeah, but I should have been like, okay, well, yours is close. Why don't I try and hold it? Why don't I try and get it closer? Yeah. Not, let's experiment with this exotic shot that I've just learned. Oh, oh well. Anyway, it's, we're still doing all right. Eight though. under, and it's starting to, how many holes do we have left? Um, Four? Yeah, four, five? Right, like we can still we can still get it to 59. Yeah. Yeah, we are uh, timing this absolutely terribly. Uh, right, 160 into this par three, nine nine eight iron. Uh, the rain had stopped for a second. Uh, now it's not. Should we go? Yeah, why not? I... Go on then. Be good. Just oh, it's short. way short. Miles short. I've got an eight iron. You reckon I just got beaten out of the air by the rain? Yeah. Go, 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 go. It's just over it. Oh, we've not picked this very well, have we? We're in Timing, literally the worst in history. Yeah, just a chip and run, come on. So still eight under, but we really need to keep the birdies going. It's probably breaking it a little bit left. Yeah, right to left, I think. Jesus Christ, Pete. Oh. I was trying to be aggressive in all the wrong ways. It kind there. of went straight. It honestly, completely ignore what I've just done. Imagine I just did not hit that shot. Okay. It bears no resemblance to what you're gonna do. All, All right. right. Okay. Kind of semi, not really safe, but. Yeah, there's a bit of a, a bit of a treading. Yeah. Literally a treading water hole here. Ah, oh, damn. So what, we eight under, and then we've got four holes left after this. So we can get to with a par five, we can get to 13. Yeah. But we want to get to 10 at least. We want to beat our score. I think this is a dead straight butt. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on, mate. Well Another done. Another paw. Right. Four holes to go. Eight under through is at 15. Yeah. No, 14. 14. We got plenty of time. I think so. We've had a little bit of an interesting couple of holes there, just slight mental mistake and mm -hmm. some of the heaviest rain. Can you, can you look, look, look at that there? Yeah, that's what we were dealing with. Yeah, so we went off this tee um, with Grant, so we'll, uh, we'll do the same today. So you what? It's got very dark, hasn't it? Like, Kind of scary dark. This is typical UK weather. <laughs> right, just a little Monty down there. Let's put us in play. Settle a touch. Did you hit the school bus? <laughs> I think he stopped before the road, but it was definitely heading towards yeah, that yellow bus. <laughs> that means the wind is going that way, so I'm gonna have to hammer this. I think just a solid, nice, normal draw for you is all good. Just hold that line. Yeah, same as, be fine, just might be a bit of an awkward angle in there. That that was one of the most perfectly struck drives, but there's wind up there that I couldn't feel. Well, I mean... I should have aimed more why left. Is, like, what, is, this, is this like a normal cloud formation going on here? Do yeah. Think? Yeah? So we can't feel it right here, but I should have, I should have taken note because that's, that's 30 miles an hour up there. Well, 
Okay. <laughs> Man. Oh, uh, we're not bulls. I mean, some might call this a lucky break because it's in, but also, I mean, Pete, do we risk it and go right through? Uh, can you see the pin? Yeah. I'm going to risk it. Stood in the middle of the road. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, he went over it. <laughs> it actually turned out nice. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting you to play like an extra bit of a trick. It shot. did go between them, though. Well, I've got I've got a club length either way, but I kind of think it's probably better just trying to do the same thing and go through. Um, okay, so yeah, lob wedge through the gap. I'm trying we'll not to go over here. it, but we'll see. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just skimmed it. I just clipped the side of it. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? That's a new one. This is certainly not like a, a gimme putt, but it's, this is very doable. I, it's got to be a straight one. That was a great shot. Did you actually try and hit it over everything there? Or was that um, a bit of a... I mean, I was trying to go through, and I, I think it just came out a little higher than <laughs> okay. I was expecting. Right, come on, let's get back in the birdie bandwagon you know? here. I'm going dead straight. Need this. If anything, it probably goes a little this way. Just for there being such a low point over there. Yeah, I mean, I'm, to be honest, mate, it's inside the hole. Yeah. It's inside right. What? What just happened there? I thought I made that. Did that move right? I, I mean, maybe right at the end. Ah, oh, that was such a quality putt. Um, that was just a really good putt. Um, maybe it's because the yeah the grain is going that way. The grain is going that way. So we think it's just straight, dead straight. I think it's a dead straighty. Come on, we need this. We need this, Peter. Let's see a little Peter Pan action here. <laughs> Yes! Oh, I thought it was gonna go left. Oh man! Oh, you're yeah. Oh, that is clutch. <laughs> wow! I mean, oh. It came off a little bit left. It came off a little bit left. Oh man! Right. Whew. I, I feel like the last four holes we've been through a lot, like emotionally. Um, yeah, and we've experienced all four seasons as well. But that puts us back in the birdie train. Is that nine under? So we need one more, one more to better mine and grand score. We and can do we it. Go, we need to go birdie, eagle, birdie to get the 59. It's possible. Right, so it's one, it's 160 yards. But the thing that's confusing me, you got that cloud there, which is coming this way. That cloud there, which is going that way. These clouds, which are coming this way. Those clouds over there, they're going this way. Of course they are. It's like a swirling mass of chaos up there. But right here, we have a a little bit of calmness, a bit of serenity about us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've made it to the eye of the storm. Oh yeah, look at that. No, man. we're truly past it now. I'm going low eight iron. I feel like I've been coming up a little short and it's, I think it's into the wind. <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> that didn't seem like your best strike. Oh, it was, it was not. It was far from it. I think I hit three inches behind the ball. Right. Is uh, it like short of the bunker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like in the, <laughs> did it make it over the water? Because right. I heard it hit something, but <laughs> I don't think the bunker makes that sound. I'm ah. going to go, I'm going to try and draw an AI in it. That was a great strike. I have no clue where that's at. I think that's really short. <laughs> sure. <laughs> We've just both come up 25 yards short of the green. It's got absolutely splattered. Look at me. <laughs> Bad day to be a white shirt. What just happened there? 
you struck, didn't you hit that well? Yeah. Baffled. Wow. All right, knock it in. Okay. We need a chip in. We haven't had one in a, in a very long time. Go. Do it. Come on. Do it. That's a great effort. Uh, You'd love to see it. Well, that's the par secure, so you're welcome. Just see it going in. Mm. Your, your chips are stopping so much quicker than mine. <laughs> Got that little speed ramp on them. Speed ramp, so fast to like slow release. Yeah, you just gotta keep the face open for as long as possible. It's great to see. I mean, However, easy par, but. Easy par, that does put the 59 out of reach though. Unless we hold out. Unless we have an eagle. Eagle. Two eagles. But the dream of beating myself and Grant, that is still alive. Yeah, oh, it certainly is. And we got two holes left to do it? Yeah, we just need one birdie. I think Michael could maybe hit. Well, you'd have to maybe go over the corner of that house. Yeah, it's like. Smack the living hell out of it and just see what happens. But I think it does depend on if I can hit a fairway. Oh, right. to get to that second fairway, I see. I'd like you just sticking to it. Are you gonna, are you gonna um, buttery Monty here? He might need a bit more of a buttery, uh, more of a energy drink Monty. Okay. To get the distance. That's oh, okay. Red yeah. Bull Monty, this would be. All right. That's good. I'm not sure I've seen you hit one that good. Yeah, that was good. I think it might have to be a combination, maybe moving forward with the driver, maybe more like a McElroy, mm -hmm. with the irons like a Monty, chipping like Micah, and then put in Lowry. He's a two ball, soft handed Irish gentleman, isn't he? We'll go with Lowry. Okay, my only, there is a portion that I can, if I can carry it 300, there's a portion that gives us about 100 yards in, but it's it's the size of a dinner plate. Uh, mine's fairway yeah. there. So, so I'm gonna, I wanna, basically the line is to go right over this first tree and draw it. Love that. <laughs> oh, that's so, that's so deflating. Go on, go on, go on. Not I sure. I, I drop kicked it. I hit the ground. Well, I didn't drop kick it. I hit the ground a little bit first, but you never know. It was on the right line, I think. Like your distance has wowed us so far. So who's to say it won't do it again? Mm-hmm. Um, so after Micah's tactical fat with the driver, we've got 131 yards in. Brilliant. Compact. It's a good thing I drop kicked it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> like, normally, with a drop kick, you basically catch the ground before, uh, and it just dips out of the air really fast. But because Mike was able to generate a lot of speed, it was just like a low spin, high bomb, but not as much as a bomb as he usually hits, which would have ended up in the water. And now we are five paces away from the edge of the fairway with 131 yards left into a par five. Thanks for coming. Mine this is prime fair, time. Like 60 yards back. Right. This is prime time, folks. 131 yards, it's a perfect pitching wedge. Just kind of spin one to the left a little bit. Yeah, I'm saying that. Ah. Oh my, it's short. Is that just a bit thin what has or? happened? Maybe a groove low, but. What has happened to the distance? What club you got? I got a wedge as well. You just think like it might just be a solid wedge? Yeah. Come on, Colin. Are you mounting it? I am. I'm just gonna basically go at Jacob, bleed it, spin it to the right. Or maybe I should just go straight at it, be safe. Go straight at it. Straight at it, yeah. That's what I tried to do and it didn't work. Oh yes. Spin. What? Man, these balls are doing some crazy things. 
Yeah, I think I think with the wet there, that's just kind of had a bit of a touch down there. It's all right, though. Chance for an eagle. Eagle putt. That's what we needed. Good. I with a bit closer. That's okay. We'll say that. Make sure, guys, you go subscribe to Micah's channel as well. I've had a great couple of days filming with him. Some of the videos have been fantastic. Just like a really nice guy. <sighs> subscribe here as well if you haven't already. Why not? And when this drops, make sure you wall up that like button. If this drops, we're going 10K likes. Ooh, wow. 10K for 10 yeah. under. Yep. Nice. This has got to be wrecking to the left so hard. Yeah, it's on by the side of that little ridge. Sun's coming out. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh man, just at the end. Whew, the that's putt. okay though. Feels like that's going to secure 10 under, so as long as we don't bogey the last, which is a bit under the realm's possibility. Knock it in. Right, so this is going to come in a long way to the left as it dies in pace. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, come on! Come on! And that is 11. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just felt that one. Come on, let's Get go. Get in, eagle, baby. I'll just you when you thought things were slowing down. That might have been the earliest club rise and fist bump mm -hmm. I've ever done. Yep. That was in all the way. It, it, was, it, it was in as soon as it left the putter face. Oh, if you're, if you're watching this video 10K. and it is not a 10K already, Get smashing it. 10K, we called it. You guys, ha come on. Do it for Pete. Do it for Tig. Subscribe to the channel. Just make golf great again. Just make golf great again. <laughs> Just out of chat and we're thinking, hole out eagle for 59. Oh my word. Beautiful closing hole as well. Now that sun's just popping out. Oh. Uh, line here, mate, is it's kind of at the green. Uh, I don't want to go too far left. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to Monty. I'm just going to Monty. I love it. Like a diet Monty. Just full on Monty right here. Oh, full, full, yeah. full Monty. I, it sets up really nice for it. Yeah, that big tall tree. No, no, great. Yes. Look at that finish. He's stuck it. Beautiful. I don't know if that's too far left. I don't think so. It's not. I've never played here and I think that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Your line mate is just straight at the pin. Yeah. Kind of coming down on the pin, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, coming down on the pin, yeah. Oh, that's too far left. Might be alive, but yours is yours is perfect. I don't like that he's not saying anything. I can't remember this wall. I can't remember if the water cuts in. I'm I'm nervous. Yours is gonna be okay. It's uh, it's pretty simple, really. Yeah. Hold it we and it's become legend. Simple as that. Yeah. There's not much to it. Easy as that. 120. Little wedge. 50. A uh, little wedge. A little wedge. Ah, that's left. Just a bit left. Oh, and long. <laughs> all right. It's all right, team. Yep. I have not hold a wedge shot in ages. So I feel, I feel this is my time. Come on, Colin. One Come on, Colin. One time. Last. Do it for the kids back home. Great line. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> that's way closer. Oh, man. That way, that's a valiant effort. I uh, just, it's amazing, like, how in tune I suddenly got of being like, yeah. I'm going to hold it for 120 yards. And you got really close. Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Why, why, why wouldn't I? I hold that shot all the time. 
Oh, wow. So this is going to be for a 60? Damn. Finish it off in style. Oh, no, let's keep the same order. All right. Let's keep the same order. All right, grain's going just ever so slightly to the right. I'm seeing just, just a left, a ball out left, maybe. Uh, it depends on pace, I suppose. Go with my gut, and then if it doesn't go in, you can go with your gut. Trust it. Trust your gut. Have to. What an epic day. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was good. Had a great golf course. That, that's been emotional. That, like, literally that had everything. We started playing, I think, a day ago now. Um, it feels like it. it truly does. The last four holes, I think they took us three hours. Oh, we've had absolutely everything. And you know what else we've had? A fantastic audience watching. Thank you so, so much. 60, we are one short of the 59, but we beat our previous score. Massive thank you to the Cape Cod Palm City for having us down. It's been an incredible week. We, we filmed amazing videos down here as well. We'll have a little Florida playlist here. Until next time. Until next time. That might be the last one. Cheers, Jacob. Cheers, Kieran. Cheers, everyone. See you next time.